So here we have the shortcuts app in the middle. And then we have my iPhone with shortcut widgets and the shortcut widgets that I'm using on my desktop because this is my desktop Mac. So everything happens within the shortcuts app. Here you have a gallery which has like an iTunes kind of browser which allows you to look at what's available on the market. They're free, shouldn't even call it a market then and they can be downloaded directly into your shortcuts app. You have the ones that have a check mark, which means they already exist within your shortcuts. And then the ones that have a plus sign, which allows you to then import them. Once you do import them by clicking on that sign, then they show up in the all shortcuts right over here. You can audition what they, uh, the description by clicking on them and you will have a basic uh, description as well as the uh, AI shortcut, which I don't want to say the name because it will summon it, but you know what I mean. So if we go to the all shortcuts, this will show us all of the shortcuts that we have in our collection. But then you also have the folders right over here. And uh, as you can see, I have a Mac 1 folder, and that's this widget right over here. Mac 2 is the second widget, and then Mac 3 is the last widget here. And then we have the iPhone shortcuts, and these widgets here are this one in particular. And then I have iPhone widget, which is actually right over here. Take photo and take video. So you can see we have more uh, shortcuts than what's allowed in the particular widgets. This one is just two. And this is just one right in the middle here, by the way. So what's really uh, awesome about widgets altogether is that I've changed my phone uh, to a, an icon-driven uh, phone to a widget-driven phone. So I um, have uh, widgets for most everything that I need. But my favorite ones are the ones that come from the uh, shortcuts. And this is how we create one. Let's go to um, Mac 2 right over here. And what we're going to do is create a widget that will open up an app, something really basic. And we can do that by clicking on the plus sign and you're going to find that you've got all these categories here and here are the results of all the uh, shortcuts that are available for apps in particular you have all these filters that you can go through i'm just going to go to the all actions so i can find this second one which is open app and we're going to add that to this field here and you're going to see that there uh, there's an orange text and that is where you can input whatever you want to affect in your action. So I'm going to click on that and we are going to find an app that we want to launch. It could be anything. Let's say it is um, just something that's relatively easy to open, Adobe Illustrator, right? Perfect. So this action can be activated by clicking on the run button here and we're going to do just that and we're going to wait and adobe illustrator is being launched for us now obviously we can do that directly from uh, from our uh, dock but that's just one of the many uh shortcuts that you can create or that you can download. Once you're done with the uh, shortcut uh, editing, you can close out from here and you can see that open, it's called open app, which is the default name for um, the shortcut that we created. And you can see that it's showing up in my second uh, widget here. So what we'd like to do is rename it and all of that. So I'm going to go back to the edit window and I'm going to call this one uh, Illustrator. 
right? And we can change the icon. In this case, it's showing me the icon of the uh, actual app. And you can see that that's what's being shown here. However, if you look at the widgets, they cannot, they don't support showing the default, uh, um, the default app icon. So what we can do is actually go right over here and change that to whatever um, icon we would like. And there are a whole bunch of them. So yeah, let's, let's say we're going to choose this paintbrush here. And now the paintbrush is um, the icon for the workflow as well as here in the uh, widget. Another thing we can do, click here, is just change the actual color. And this is one of my favorite ones here. And there it is, Illustrator. And we've created a, uh, a one workflow. Now, bear in mind that there are many very complex uh, workflows that contain uh, several uh, fields of input. So this is just a basic one. You, you'd have to go into a more uh, extended tutorial to learn more about the advanced aspect of, of this. I just want to uh, give you the basics. So we're going to close out of that and we're going to learn how to edit the widgets. So how do we create these widgets? Well, we can click right over here. This sidebar opens up and we are going to then click on the What's New menu. And this will open up this particular app here. That's the What's New app, which has all the widgets that are available uh, categorized according to the app. So yeah, so let's say we want, uh, um, let's see, a clock right over here. We want to add a clock. So let's choose one and we're just going to drag it. And now there's our clock. We can get this out of the way and we can see that it's a part of our desktop now. And we can also um, control click and edit widgets. And then we can use this to get rid of it should, if we choose to get rid of it. Um, one thing is uh, let's, uh, let's go right over here, for example, and open up this stock one. Um, close out of that. And we're going to hit the control once again. And we are then going to go to the edit symbol. So here we can choose what stock we would like to, um, to show. So now it's going to show something else here. Yeah, so we can do all that. We can also get rid of it, remove widget. Yeah, so how do we do a widget for... Um, for shortcuts is the big question. And let's um, go back to what's new. And we're going to type right over here, shortcuts. And here are the shortcut widgets. We have a singular one, two, um, four up, and then we've got the uh, large, uh, vertical, and horizontal. So let's just add a uh, two up here, and we're going to put that, get rid of that, and we're just going to control click on the widget, and here's where we can change the size, by the way, we can make it whatever we want, and um, we can remove it, we can also edit widgets, we can edit the shortcuts folder here. So this is where we're going to choose the shortcut. So here, by default, it, um, it's the all shortcuts folder. So that's not what we want. So we're going to edit shortcuts folder and then make that, let's add our iPhone shortcuts to, uh, to our Mac. So there you go. We've got two different shortcuts available to us right here. And um, yeah, so we've learned how to create shortcuts and how to create widgets within the Mac. And it works the same way on the uh, iPhone as well. You can uh, control click is what I'm doing here, but I believe with the phone, you just hold it. Uh, and then you can edit the size and edit the widget itself, which allows us to choose a different menu if we would like. So on to just to demonstrate one of my favorite uh, shortcuts that I created is this send link tree. And what it does is it actually asks me 
who, who, who should I send it to? So I can choose someone and then I can send it right away. So that, that's just one of them. This particular one for Linktree just opens up my Linktree so I can then copy it and for whatever purpose I'm using. What's really cool about having the send link tree uh, here on my phone is that it's kind of like a business card. I can use it to send to someone right away and get their um, telephone number. It's really quite practical. So that's the uh, tutorial. I hope it's helpful in some way. Thanks for watching and uh, subscribe for more. Bye.